Dear future Brandon, if you ever forget this one, here's how you have two PLCs talk using the git put method. But more specifically, the git method. This is the first PLC I have. It is uh, an ET200 Pro type. And then I have a second prog program here. This is a uh, SM300 type. So these two programs don't really have anything in them, except for this guy has OB1, and this guy has a few more stuff for safety, but other than that, he's pretty empty as well. So what we want to do is have these two guys talk to each other. The first thing we want to, want to do is create a database on each of these guys. I'm going to call this DB100. I'm going to call this DB2Send. And I'm going to enter this guy and create a quick structure. In this case, it's just going to be like uh, four words in a bool. Okay, once I have that, I'm going to save that and go ahead and close that. I'm going to copy and paste this guy and I'm going to rename him to DB101. There we are. I'm going to rename him to DB to receive. Cool. So that's it for that. Now I have to get the function block that's going to allow me to do this. So we can go to File. We can hit Open. And under Libraries, we can go to the Standard Library. Hit OK. Whatever that is. And we go down to Communication Blocks. And under Communication Blocks, there is a block called Get right there. We're going to copy this guy, Control C, or just here we are, copy. I'm going to go ahead and paste him into here. There he is. So that's a get. So I'm going to open up my OB1 here. And OB1 in my case is empty. So what I wanted to do, oh yeah, first, one more thing, sorry. Go to the hardware config for this guy. Now his IP address is 0 0.10. Remember that, okay? I'm going to go up to the CPU and we're going to go to clock and memory. And we're going to use the clock memory uh, byte 10. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to save him just yet. Well, I'm going to save him, but I'm not going to download him just yet because there is more to be done. And I'll show you that in a second. So there we go. And then we're going to go back to OB1 here, like I said earlier. Okay, so we'll make a quick block. In this case, it's going to be. M10.0, which this is the uh, 100 milliseconds, 100 millisecond uh, clock from the PLC. Okay. So now we want to have a set and reset bit for this guy. So I'm going to do an SR. I'm going to just put this guy at, say, 100. I'm going to give him a name. And then I'm also going to add a timeout in case something goes wrong. It's a five second timer. Go ahead and put that as a thing here, T10. I also want to say if the git is, happens good, then I want to say, um, let's say 100.1. All right, so with that, I also want to create the actual git function. So here we can hit FB14 is our git function. We we'll create a database real quick. I'm going to just call this DA database 200. Do you want to generate that? Yes, of course. Give him a name. Cool. So now what I want to put into here is the git command. That's going to be the REQ. The NDR is going to be the get good or new data ready is what that stands for. I'm also going to create an M100.2 here for an error if that were to happen. And then status. Okay. Now what about the rest of this stuff? All right. So what it's going to do here on the read one is this is the database that we're going to look at uh, to receive the data from the other one. So my receive data database Data, I guess I shouldn't say to receive uh, backward. Anyways, it's DB101. DB101. And address one is actually the other 
uh, database uh, on the other PLC that's going to be really looking at to send. But since I'm going to name them both the same, they're both going to be DB100, DB2 send. Now this ID, this is where it gets a little tricky. We're going to go into uh, NetPro, which is this icon up here. We're going to go down to our PLC, click into here, and we're going to double click on local ID to create a new connection. So there's this guy, we're going to create an S7 connection, hit OK. Now here is the important bits. Uh, the only one PLC has to establish an active connection. So our first PLC will have this checked and the other one will not. So our other PLC is going to be called, just other PLC just for the fun of it. And we're going to give this IP address of the other guy, which in my case is going to be 0 0.50. They have to be in the same IP range. It can't be like 192.168.0.10 and the other one be like 171.10.0, something like that. They have to be in the same subnet family where just the last octet is different. Uh, this is also important. Remember this, the block parameter. I'll get to that back in a second. Address detail. Uh, I want the other PLC. Since our PLC is on rack 0 slot 2, the other PLC is also rack 0 slot 2, so I just changed that to 2. I'm going to change these both to be resource 10, so that matches as well. Hit OK. All right. Now, this local ID here. Hit OK here. Cool. There it is. That local ID goes right here into the, right there into ID. Of course, it doesn't like just that. So it's got to be like W pound 16 pound 1. OK. So that's really all there is to it for this PLC. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I got download just yet because I want to do that all as one shot. Close this, close that. Uh, yes, we do want to save this. I should have thought to do that. Uh, save and compile everything. Okay. All right, now that we've saved and compile, I'm going to go back into the hardware, save and compile one more time, and then we're going to download to the module. Hit yes. Okay, we want the, the 10 PLC, 0 0.10 that is. Okay. Good download. Yes, we're going to stop it. And then, yes, we're going to start it. Okay, cool. So he's done. Now I just got to do the same thing for the other PLC. So I'm going to go into uh, my other YouTube. Oh, wait, I'm going to go to my blocks of my current one. I'm going to grab git, db to send, db to receive, db instance. And then I'm going to download these to this first PLC. Oh, it already exists. Whatever. Yes to all. All right. And then I want to copy these into my other projects. So I'm going to go ahead and paste those there. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I want to also download uh, OB1 as well. Yes. Okay, sorry. Now I also want to also open OB1 here and then grab the logic that I made. So network one, network two, copy those. Project, go to OB1. Okay. Guy up, paste him in. All the tags are wrong. No problem. I'll just go into the other program and grab the tags real quick. Here we go. Okay. Save this guy. All right. Very good. Close him. Back to my blocks and just download everything. Download, yeah. Uh, this guy needs a hardware config as well. So I'm going to go ahead and in the net pro first. Select there. Double click here. S7 connection, yes. Uh, this guy, he's, he's 0 and 50. I want the talking to my original PLC on 680.10. Now here, we uncheck this. We don't want this because the other one does that. Address detail, we're going to change this to be looking at rec 0 slot 2, like our other PLC is, and we're going to change this to 10 as well. Okay? Okay? Here he is. We're going to save and compile that. Save and compile everything, because why not? Okay? No errors. Great. Close this. Go into our hardware. We're going to want to enable the clock memory again for uh, byte 10. Very good. Save and compile, download, yes. Okay, guys, a 050. We're gonna hit all right. Very good. We're gonna stop it. 
we're going to start it. Great. Cool. Good. We hit close on that guy. Now we can go back to our first program. Go to blocks and go to OB1. I don't think we downloaded those other blocks in their project. Back to here. Grab this. Grab that. All that. And then download all those. Yes to all. Okay. Okay. So in our original program here, we're going to go ahead and monitor this guy. We're getting git bad. Hmm. Oh, I see half of my problem right now. I put the status on top of the rest of the 100s. Oops. Let's change that. OB102. MW102. Okay, save. Download that. Yes. Let's go into the other one. W102. Save and download that. Yes. Okay. Going back to the original program here. View. Still bad. Okay, I finally forgot the reason. The reason is I never actually downloaded the hardware on the first PLC with the NetPro stuff in it. So now that I have that, I have git, I have the git functioning properly. Uh, although I did mess this up, this does need to have the git bad in there. So m one hundred dot two, okay. Save and download. Yes. Okay. So now it is still same bad. Sweet goodness. Okay. Finally figured out my other error. Turns out you can't just type the DB. You have to have a pointer with a, a size in it. Okay. So anyways, that's running now. That was, you can see good flashing there occasionally because it's pretty fast. And if we go to the other PLC, hit view in this guy. He's also uh, setting and resetting really nicely as well. So now we want to make sure that our, our data is properly being sent. So on my first program, program YouTube, I'm going to have data to send. Open this guy up. I'm going to view it. It's all zeros right there. I'm going to go to my other program, data to receive, and view him. He is also all zeros. So if I go back to my original data to send, my original project YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and modify uh, word one. I can just go to view details, modify, and do it semi easily like this db 100.dbw0. I'm going to change this to decimal. I'm going to say the modify value is going to be 100. I can monitor this, and it still says zero, but when I hit uh, go ahead and modify, it changes to 100, and I can see up here that is reflected when I go online, hex 64, or whatever. If I go now over to my DB to receive, this is the DB on the other PLC, and it has a 64 in it. It received it just fine. So there you go. That's how you get two PLCs uh, to talk via the get put method, but in this case, it's just get. There you go. Okay, bye.